Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number two. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, we are next up moving on to the Novice Championship. So we've got Brands Hatch, Autumn Ring, and Brands Hatch. Okay. Um, and we are going to be doing the Championship mode. The Gran Turismo Gods heard my cry in the last few clips. Asking for this, and they put it in. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just like... They time traveled and just worked out that I was going to ask for that. Um, so we are going up against Mini Coopers uh, and a Toyota Vitz or the uh, Toyota Yaris, which again got told off for dissing. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop mentioning that. It was funny. <laughs> right here we go, Brands Hatch, the god tier track that it is. Right here we go. Little Honda, little Honda hatchback. Come on. There's a Nissan Micra there. Interesting. Here we go. Perfect. Let's get around this first corner nicely. Obviously, we've only got two laps of this, quite frankly, very short track. This is going to be a very short race as well. Ooh, get round, get round, get round the corner. Thank you very much. Perfect. Three seconds behind. Which isn't great. Come on then. Right, so we're in third. So we're sort of ahead of where I want to be, which is good. That sounded really negative the way I said that. That's good that we're ahead. I also still haven't worked out how to put our flag next to our name. I'm going to have to work that out at some point because I don't like how I just represent the internet. That is literally the logo for the internet on PS3. I don't want to represent internet. The internet's a dark place. Here we go. Right, 0 0.04 seconds behind. Woo! That would have exploded the engine there. That really would have. Come on. Stay on the track. That'd be very much appreciated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, forgot to shift up. Oh, that was close. Jesus. Imagine if I didn't shift up at the end. I probably would have lost that. I probably would have lost that. So, that was a very lucky scratch there. Here we go. First place. And we got three stars for that. Very nice. On to the next race now. Which, I don't know where it is. We're on to race number two. Swoosh. Reveal. It's Autumn Ring. Awesome. I do like the Autumn Ring. The Autumn Ring's a very nice track. And we are looking at... Ooh, last place again. As always, 3.67 miles total distance, though. Neato. Here we go. It's time for the Autumn Ring. I'm glad to see that most of the original tracks are still in this game, so that is very good. Um, I'm... Hoping if Brands Hatch is in here, I'm hoping other British tracks are in here as well. So I'm hoping uh, Silverstone would be nice to see. 
Um, Circuit of the Americas would be good as well, if that's in here. That would be pretty sick to drive around that. Um, Suzuka, I hope, makes a return as well in this. Because if Suzuka's not in this, I'm deleting it. I don't care. I will delete this game if Suzuka's not in. Suzuka is as Japanese as it gets, so if it's not in there, I will be very confused and very surprised. Holy shit, okay. There we go, much better. I am looking forward though to seeing in Gran Turismo 7 if they add all of these original tracks. Because if they do add all of them, then it would be really nice to see, like, 4K textures on everything. Just seeing everything looking stunning. These these tracks look stunning on PS3. Imagine what they would look like on PS5. That was a corner cut and a half. No one saw it. Right, that final car ahead is very far ahead. I don't like it. Nice. Going past here. I do like the autumn ring, but I don't like how I'm so far behind. Awesome. Getting around that first corner perfectly. Look at those corners. Only non-AIs can take those corners perfectly like that. Ah, oh, it's this Toyota again up in front. They're proving to be a pain in my backside right now. But with a little bit of late braking, we can get around the outside perfectly. That was very nice through there. Right, we're coming up to the ring section. With a Toyota hot on our heels. I do like as well the new um, driving line. The colour is much better on the eye. Before it was just bright, bright blue and it was blinding. Especially on darker tracks, it'd be blinding you. The red is still very bright, which is decent a decent contrast to the rest of the line. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really fun. And I have a feeling, if I do get Gran Turismo 7 and get a PS5, I feel like there'll be loads of extra content um, in sort of the later life of the game as well be really fun. It would probably be the first Gran Turismo game I will probably get and play through entirely. Like play through the entire life of the game. Um, because, again, Gran Turismo, beautiful game. Uh, point ranking, we are now at 200 points total. We're going on to the third race now. Da -da -da -ba -da 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 -ba it's good. Here we go. Back at Brands Hatch for the longer race. 4.87 miles. Let's go. Oh, look. It is now dark. There is darkness around. And we're going to be racing with our lights on. So, let's do this. Here we go. Coming onto the main straight. Got cars swerving. Let's go. Yeah, I definitely want high beams on. To be fair, I don't actually need high beams on. 
Because I'm only just going to end up blinding people. And I'm a respectable driver. I don't drive down the motorway with my high beams on. It is cool to see how the lighting um, conditions change. And I have a feeling with ray tracing on. I'm mentioning so much about PS5, honestly. But I have a feeling with ray tracing on, that's going to make like headlights look so amazing. Because that is like the perfect use for ray tracing is sunlight through the trees and headlights. And that's all you need ray tracing for. So I presume the ray tracing wouldn't be too overworked either. Here we go, nice. Right, into third position now, which is very good. It's 7.30 in the evening, so it's only going to get darker as the race goes by. Come on, let me pass, please. I want to win. Because, you know, winning is all I'm about here. Perfect. That was very good, actually. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Look at that overtake. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. Here we go, come on. Right, the Toyota is trying to squeeze past us right now. Come on, slow down, slow down. Perfect. Oh, look at that understeer. Nice. Smooth steering going through these sections. At least we don't understeer like crazy like in the past games. Um, I'm also hoping that if we put upgrades on cars that it doesn't shred your tires instantly like it did in the last game. Like literally in the last game you put on powerful tires and your tires were instantly overheating. It's ridiculous. But, here we go. A cross Z line. Two minutes and two seconds. Awesome. That is a very good time there. And that is the championship completed as well. Let's have a look. See what we got. Three stars. Now if I press exit. Yes. Congratulations. You finished first in the championship. And we got 5,000. Is that it? Is that actually it? Are you joking? Wow. Do me dirty like that. Come on, Polyphony. You know better. Right. Uh, next up. Oh, National B license tests are now available. Pass these tests to graduate from novice class. Uh, if you obtain a bronze award or better in every license test, you earn your National B license. Okay, cool. So licenses are now mandatory, uh, which is good. And they're spread out. So that is also good. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do this coffee break challenge. Um... Cone challenge. How quickly can you knock over 300 cones? Okay. Fair enough. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh. 
Music's changed up. Gran Turismo Arena. Okay. It's got a little GT logo. Nice. Why does it look like that, though? Why can't they just put the normal Gran Turismo logo? That's weird. Hmm. Uh, so we got to beat 20 seconds, 25 or 38. Uh, do you want to... Oh, here we go. Do you want to assign the handbrake to the O button? Yes, please. Why was that not already assigned? What? It's now a sign. Wow. Okay. 300 cones. Cones, cones, cones. Cones. Oof. I've hit the wall. I've hit the wall. Move. go. No, I'm not even going to get bronze. What the fuck? Failed. We really need that voiceover just like from Virtual Tennis. Just saying like, you failed. You're joking. Come on. 53 seconds. 53 seconds. Right. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh, I hope all these challenges aren't going to be like that. Oh, you can crash into the blocks and it does it. Ah! Fair enough. I did not know that. Okay, we'll try again. Because I have a feeling I could do better than that then. I didn't know you could crash into the blocks and do it. Accident prone. Oof. Yes! 24! We got a silver! Awesome! Right, exit to the menu to do the licenses. Right. Do 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 do. Only 2,400 credits. Wow. Though, I see why it's called the Coffee Break Challenge. Because it is a mess around. It's like a break from racing. That was really fun. That was really fun. Right. On to the National B license. We have five license tests to do. Uh, and our first one looks like an acceleration and braking test like normal. Uh, this is... Oh, you should aim to start braking at the 900 mark. Okay. This is a long one. Alright. National B license test B1. Oh, and it's got a cool little... Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Is this Route 77 then, I'm guessing? Special Stage Route X. Oh, that's what it was. It was an X. Right, let's start. We got to beat 33 seconds. Right, let's do this. Alpha Mito. Let's go. Right, so the game says aim to break at the 900 meter mark. And I'm guessing it's a kilometre challenge based off of that. 300. 400. 500. 600. 700. 800. 900. Stop! Yes! Gold medal! They actually gave us advice for once. That's awesome. They actually gave us advice that worked. Polyphony, you're doing me proud. 
<laughs> You've done it. Why am I liking this so much compared to the other one? Well, that is unreal. Like, I really enjoy Gran Turismo 6. Why am I enjoying this? Uh, so next is Apricot Hill Raceway. I remember this from the PSP version, but it wasn't in um, Gran Turismo 5. So this is interesting to see this back in Gran Turismo 6. So let's go. National B, license, test B2. Uh, Apricot Hill Raceway. Right, so we are in a Mazda Demio, which seems to be like a Mazda 3. Uh, why has it only got one gear? Why has it only got one gear? That is ridiculous. No. Don't ever make me drive that again. Look at that. Gold. First try. I'm hoping all of the licenses aren't that easy. That was like first try win. Basic cornering. Easy. Done. To be fair, it is basic, so has to be... <gasps> it is! Silverstone's in the game. Oh, that is awesome. And we're in a Renault Megane. Let's do this. I love this. Silverstone. So if they've got Silverstone, they must have some other sort of like GP tracks, like Formula One Grand Prix tracks. Um, it would be really nice to see some of those uh, in the game. All right, let's go. Renault Megane, time to shine. Just made it around the corner, 14, 15, 16. So we got ourselves a silver. There is plenty of room for improvement there though. So we are gonna insta retry. Here we go. Onto the roof camera. Yeah, we went off. How did we go off that time? Like the last time we did it. Try going wider. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, look at that. Just got gold. Nice. Dude, that music though, it's like celebration time. To be fair, it should be. If you get a gold medal, that's pretty sick. I just pressed the retry button by accident. Haha. <laughs> right, so next up is tackling a S-Bend. Um, oh, okay, nice. And we are in a Focus ST13, so that is a very good car to drive. We're on the National B License Test Numero Cuatro. Uno, dos, tres. Yeah, four. I can't believe I had to count that out just to make sure I got the right one. <laughs> it's actually really nice to see the twin ring back in this game. It's really cool. Fifteen. Oh, fifteen point seven. Just got the sixteen. Just got the gold. Hopefully on the next one, if we get the gold, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some form of reward. It would be really nice to see that. Right, next up is the Peugeot. A, what is it? An RCZ. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I've not actually driven a Peugeot RCZ before um, in any game. That is a very interesting car as well, the RCZ. It is a very interesting car. Uh, so we are looking for a 21.3 for this. So this is going to be a good final to the license. Here we go. 21.3 seconds.
No way. No way. What is that? That's an entire... Look, half a second clear, but that's like an entire... What? I can't even do maths now. One and a half seconds. What? Mind blown. Wow. That is insane. Why is that section so short? They could have made that longer. Made it, e like, more difficult. I mean, I'm glad they didn't. Here we go. You're now able to take part in National B-Class Race Events. Awesome. Finally got that done. And is this a reward for getting golden licenses? Yes. Oh, what's that? Gran Turismo Racing Kart Junior. And we get to pick a car when we get something. Pick a color when we get a car. Nice. Um, we're going to go for red and black. I like that. Let's get our junior racing car. There's just confetti everywhere. Yeah, why not? Let's use it now. Ta-da. And that is the licenses done. Uh, National B class events and photo travel are now available. Awesome. Uh, in photo travel, yeah, uh, understandable. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Run for your fucking life.